What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Feeling blessed and highly favored. Um, enjoying your day, your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whatever it is for you. Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy, um, any updates or progress in our current situations, anything we don't see coming. Uh, thank you guys just for being here, for uh, your kind words, your words of support to me, to each other. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to do the, the Celtic Cross. So I'm going to use both of my decks. I'm going to use I Kept Zero. I'm going to use the Kipper Ish. I'm also going to use the Beach Time Soul. And maybe another one. I don't know. But uh, we're going to get get into it. See what uh, what all details we can get. Um, I have pre-shuffled. Let's get into it. Present moment. Knight of Cups reverse. Twin Flame. So, present moment, you have someone uh, that, <laughs> you know, uh, I want to remind you to take what resonates, leave what does not, and apply the roles where they fit. He could be a she, she could be a he, etc., etc. Um, somebody Twin Flame wants to possibly love bomb them. You know, this could be uh, your Twin Flame, could be your, your mirror soulmate. Somebody that you sh share a soul with. You know, you guys are supposed to come into ascension together, you know, do great things, raise the vibrations, all of that great stuff. Uh, but yeah, somebody uh, wants to, I feel like love bomb. They want to come in, they want to lay it on thick. I feel like this could be an apology. This could be a gift. This could be dinner. <laughs> I don't know. Um, immediate challenge. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles. Why am I hearing a Drake song? Uh, <laughs> uh, media challenge. I feel like, uh, you know, somebody could be, I don't know, maybe it's a challenge that you're on the up and up. Queen of Pentacles energy in the upright. This is somebody that is stable. You know, feminine energy could be a man or a woman. This is somebody about their money. Could be a business owner. This is somebody making money, getting to the money, getting to the bag. Um, Wheel of Fortune upright. This is like something faded, or this is somebody receiving good karma, good luck, good fortune. This could be where you're at right now. Maybe it's a challenge. Uh, I heard the Drake song, uh, um, uh, cause I'm up right now, and you stuck right now. Things change. How about now, girl? How about now, girl? How about now, girl? How about now? Uh, maybe I don't know. Is this a challenge? Cause you up, you up right now. Somebody stuck right now. Now they switch up. Now they look. I love you. You got all that money. I love you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, distant pass. Strength reverse. The hermit. So in the distant past, somebody found out that somebody else was disloyal, a coward. No backbone, no moral compass. Weak. I really get a strong pull on disloyal. Distant past, somebody, I feel like they somebody discovered that somebody else was disloyal. Could have been you. Maybe you found out somebody was, you know, phony, fraudulent, a liar. Let me pull a couple more. Somebody discovered something. I heard it. Or somebody went inward for introspection. Yeah, ascension. Ascension. What about it? Five of Pentacles reverse. And I felt like that too. So distant past, uh, you could have discovered that somebody was disloyal, somebody was uh you know, not a stand up guy, no integrity, no righteousness. I feel like you, you know, you made this discovery and maybe you decided to ascend. You know, like you know what? 
that's how you want to move, I'm going to get out your way. You know, as a lot of us did. You know, I know me, I wasn't trying to change nobody. I just got the hell out the way. As soon as I saw what it was, the lights came on. A lot of y'all just got out the way. Like, you know, excuse me. Let me go ahead and step into ascension. Get on out your way. Uh, this is somebody that was disloyal. They did not have integrity. They did not have righteousness. I feel like they betrayed you. Putting themselves on the outside. Five of Pentacles, you know, this is it's reverse. So this is somebody on the outside wanting to come in. Somebody out in the cold from you wanting to come in. They could be having financial difficulty. Maybe because of their disloyalty. Uh, recent past. Four of Cups. The full reverse. So in the recent past, somebody was rejected. Somebody felt rejected. You know, somebody could have made an offer. Somebody's cup, you know, could have been rejected. Maybe they they uh, were disloyal in the distant past. So in the recent past, they got rejected. Um, they could have been careless, reckless, foolish. The full reverse. Somebody very foolish. You know, made a bunch of uh, took a bunch of action off of impulse. Without thinking, without weighing the pros and the cons, just, you know, I'm dead, so I'm going to do something. You know, that's what I get. Uh, best outcome, possible outcome. Karmic connection. The emperor, reverse. So, best outcome, possible outcome. Somebody ends up in a karmic connection with the emperor, reverse. Somebody is in a karmic connection with the Emperor Reverse. What is this? Song? Yeah, best outcome for this person, I bet, is you, you in a part. Yeah, they come back. Or you, you decide not to walk away from this person. That's the best outcome. Eight of Cups Reverse, or this person comes back. You know, best, I, I bet that, that probably is the best outcome for this person. You know, Eight of Cups Reverse. You, you let me come back and be you be in this karmic connection with me and my distorted ass. So what? I can't stand up straight. This probably would be the, the best outcome for, you know, this emperor reverse. You just, you know, throw in the towel. Just forget your self-worth and decide to, you know, dwell in the basement with this joker. Uh, what else was that? Seven of uh seven of pentacles reverse. Yeah, you just be with me. So what I did you bad. Just be with me and uh you know help me pay off this comic debt I done racked up betraying you. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, anywho. Uh immediate future. Ace of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Somebody can't take action on something. It's like somebody has stopped dead in their tracks. Like they cannot, they don't have nowhere, you know, they have nowhere to move. Nowhere to run, baby. Nowhere to hide. Uh, nine of Wands reverse. This is somebody who is giving up. You know, upright. This is somebody pushing through. Getting that ass whooped, you know, facing challenges, obstacles. They're pushing through, though. Reverse. This is somebody who can't push through. They give up. Like, you know what? I'm tired. You know, uh, Ace of Wands reverse is somebody not taking action. No action being taken because somebody gives up. That's the immediate future. So there's no action going to be taken because somebody is thrown in the towel. Like, you know what I can't do? I can't do it. I'm not as strong as you are. What is this about? I got to pull a couple more. Excuse me. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands. Pull them here. Yeah, they know they fake. I know I'm faking, phony. A uh, false person upright. Yeah, this is somebody wearing a mask. The great pretenders. You know. Can't be real. Seven of Wands. Yeah, and they have no defense. <laughs> seven of Wands reverse. All these Wands. Ace of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Only one in the upright is false person. They have no defense. This is somebody who was fake. They were fraudulent. They were phony. They could have betrayed you in a really bad way. A really major way. And they have no defense. They can't hide it. Can't lie your way out of this one. You are a false person. Collective sees that. Goodbye. <laughs> Shit. Goodbye, Critter. Scurry along. Uh, 
Factors affecting the situation. King of Cups reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. I mean, I should have said it. Nine of Swords reverse. When this popped out, I I I, I kind of like had like a, a blurred vision of somebody crying. A man. The person was crying. King of Cups reverse. I mean, this could be somebody emotionally unstable, unwell. Could be somebody emotionally manipulative as well. They want to play on your emotions, play on your top. Uh, Nine of Swords reverse. I feel like this person's super stressed out about something. They could be like super stressed out about something. Uh, what is this? King of Cups reverse. Four Swords reverse. Something that they can't heal. Maybe this person is sick. There's something that needs to be healed. I don't know why I, got, I initially got something that can't be healed. Uh, Nine of Swords reverse. This just fell out. Uh, social media reverse. This person's like super stressed out. They could be sick. They could be ill, have some type of ailment. And they're hiding this. They're keeping this private. Nobody else knows. They're keeping this real quiet. Somebody's sick. And I do get a pull on mental. I'm, I'm keeping it real. I mean, they could have a physical ailment. I get a, I get a tug on like somebody losing their mind. All of that damn projection. All this shit they want to conjure and send to you. Uh, outside influences. Six of Cups. Three of Pentacles. So the outside influences, you know, I think that whatever collaboration this person took part in in the past, they're bound to some shit or it's, it's still weighing heavy. You know, still tugging on this person. Six of Cups. There's a, col a collaboration, some type of team or group effort, you know, in a lot of cases to distort you, exploit you, you know, end you, whatever the fucking case. Um, what is this? Six of Swords. I just said that. Like something that they might be bound to, they can't move on from it. Six of Swords reverse. They cannot move on. They cannot move forward from this collaboration that they took part in in the past. It's not something that can just be swept under the rug. Like they're bound to it. Yeah, could be. This is either the ending of a love contract you had with this person. This was your twin flame or is your twin flame. Yeah, you, you had a contract with this joker, you know, until they burned it to a crisp and then scattered the ashes. Yeah, they stuck. Can't come back. Hopes and fears. It's Eight of Swords reverse. I sure hope I can get out of this shit. Eight of Swords reverse. Somebody don't want to be trapped. Somebody don't want to go to jail. Somebody's stuck in their head about some shit. They really hope that they can sort it out. They hope they can confuse you. Up in the clouds, upright. They hope they can confuse you. Cloud your judgment. Have you not seen shit clearly? Final outcome. King of Pentacles. Baby. <laughs> That's your counterpart, baby. What about it? King and Queen of Pentacles, baby. Y'all both getting to the money. This is a boss couple. Couple goals. Who is this person? Who is this King of Pentacles? Who is that? The Chariot. Final outcome. There's a King of Pentacles upright. This person is getting control of their situation. They are moving forward victoriously. Somebody get a new car. Somebody get a new car. King of Pentacles is moving forward. Getting control of they shit, get they shit together. Uh, who is this? Holy Spirit, what's going on? Find outcome, find outcome. The devil. Hell. I said, who is this Holy Spirit? What's going on? Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah, this person's stuck. 
This could be your twin flame. This could be a father figure. This could be a boss. Could be a Capricorn. Uh, could be a, a who is that under there? Could be a Taurus. There's somebody stuck. They is stuck in a to toxic, karmic ass energy, and they won't. I feel like Final Uncle. They want you there too. Like, no, you can't leave. This ain't no fun without you. So, yeah, something's incomplete. Or something's not done. Maybe you haven't. There's somebody that still has an open cycle with this person. What is that? No, they want to balance something out. Or they want to juggle you. This could be somebody just like that. Like, no, I'm going to juggle you. I want you and that karmic hustle. I want you both. Innocent. Yeah, they're coming for you. Innocence. You just minding your business. Just la, 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 la. Like somebody wants to balance something out with you. They feel like it's unfinished business. Like, no, nah, this ain't over. It ain't over till I see it's over. I don't know, baby. Uh, this next goal, I'm going to go with uh, Beach Time Soul. Uh, present moment. Camera reverse. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Your twin flame uh, ain't learning from the past. They refuse to get right. Lightning reverse. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Sudden change. I really feel like there is no sudden change. Yeah. In the immediate future, you know, you have somebody not taking action. And giving up on something because they know that they were false and they know they have no defense. They can't argue. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this case. We've got a good defense. No, they don't have. They're literally. There's ocular proof. We have you on video, sir. Being uh, karmic as fuck. What's up? Uh, media challenge. That's the energy I get. Like, yeah, we have, we have this video of you being karmic. What's what, what's good? What's good, Miley? Uh, heartbroken reverse. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. This is a challenge for this person. Because I feel like a lot of you, Queen of Pentacles, that was the last pass in this position. You know, you are entering or in a time of success. Good luck, good karma, good fortune. Deeply hurt, sad, reverse. Maybe you were deeply hurt, but I feel like current energy, you're not. <laughs> You know, you didn't grieved, you've grieved, you've mourned, you've moved the fuck on. Boat, reverse. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. I feel like you've been moved on. You've been got on that little boat, baby. This is a challenge for somebody else. Because they're not receiving what they need. They haven't moved on. This could be somebody with closure issues. Army, put, you know, put the rows or... Uh, Apply the roles where they fit. Uh, distant pass. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Stabbed in the back. Just had somebody had to fuck it up, didn't they? Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. This was whatever you dis discovered. You discovered something. That was painful. It hurt you, and you slid right into ascension. Like you woke up, like oh, this—that's what we doing. Okay, well, let me go ahead and slide on up out of here. Uh, I feel like this is like before and after for real. Maybe it was paradise. It was paradise. You were happy. There was joy. You were expanding. You know, really, really happy. It felt like paradise, and then you got stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception—a shocking attack. Like, you know, call shocking. Like, you clutching pearls. That's the energy I get. Like, what the fuck? Where the, where the fuck did that come from? This could have been anything. You could have got cheated on. Somebody robbed you. It's called my eye wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Man, did somebody break the promise? Uh, recent past. I like you. Reverse. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. Yeah, somebody don't want to date. There's no romance blooming. This could have been you. Maybe, yeah, because somebody got rejected. 
Like, no, I don't like you. Goodbye. And keep that cup to yourself. What else? Then we had the full cause somebody was careless, reckless, foolish, playing with you. Hammer, reverse. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Period. Yeah, somebody was careless, reckless, foolish, and they didn't want to work on it. You know, constantly sabotaging shit. Every time you build up something for the both of y'all, they want to tear it down. You know, every time you build up trust, have a little bit of faith in somebody, they stab you in the back, betray you. Like, well, damn. There went that. Uh, best outcome possible outcome. Mirror, reverse. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect on, reflect our wounds, introspection. That's definitely, yeah. Because if you go back, eight of cups reverse on top of that karmic connection. If you go back to that karmic connection or you take that karmic connection back, yeah, you clearly are not introspecting you know that's something that's unhealed if you're willing to go back to that toxic ass situation there's something that's unhealed ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union or on the flip side this could be you know somebody coming out of introspection you know maybe they they did maybe you were mirroring each other you could have mirrored somebody back to them and they saw what the fuck they look like and they're like okay well yeah let me go ahead and get some shit together you know let me transcend some obstacles let me learn something let me expand immediate future no keys on a ring or keys on a ring Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah. Somebody knows that you're not going for that. You're not going for that. You're not going to be strung along. You know, you might not be doing one night stands. You know, you're not for the play play. These people, whoever, you know, anybody. You're not going for the bullshit. These people can't play in your face. You've learned a lot. You've done a lot of healing. You've come a long way. And you're not settling for less. Healing heart, reverse. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. Somebody, this false person here, that knows that they're a false person, so they're not taking action. They have healing to do. They have not done the healing. They have not done the healing. It's a false person. They pretend well. Put on that mask like everything is everything. Instead of being real, we all hurt. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We all hurt. But if you can't learn from that shit or you can't heal from it, then, I mean, you're literally just stuck there. Nobody's exempt. <laughs> Nobody's exempt. We all have to heal. We all have to learn. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person. Boundaries, still angry. This person in bad health. King of Cups reverse. This is somebody still hurt. Still mad about something. I mean, you know, like you did them wrong. Like you, you know, dropped them for a karmic floozy. You know, and did spell work on, on them behind their back. Right? Somebody still hurt. Still hurt, not healing. Uh, you know, they don't want to have a conversation. I'm not ready to admit to you that I'm a piece of shit and that I did you real bad. I had all them babies on you. Hey, not today. I mean, shit, take, take your time. You know, hey. It's not a race. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change. I don't feel like you don't care. Baby, the Phoenix. Oh. <laughs> You know, you are in a new phase. A lot of you are in a new energy. You're looking good. You know, looking new. Feeling new. I mean, man, feeling good. The Phoenix, rising from the ashes. A lot of y'all are. It's like, okay, well, regardless of what you do, Joker, get right or don't. Uh, collective go rise from the ashes pool. That's what we doing. Uh, outside influences. Cassette. 
outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. This is somebody who's stuck on some past shit. Whatever collaboration they took part in the past that they cannot move on from. They're replaying it. Somebody's haunted. Haunted by the shit they said about you. The rituals they did in secret. You know, the fake fucking profiles that they, I'm, man, yo, you know what you went through. They replaying this shit over in their head. X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Yeah, they ended a contract. They really, that lover's reverse. Somebody wants to undo this. You know, I completely ruined the bond, ruined the trust, ruined the love, and they want to undo it. Well, I don't like the way it is now. Oh, we need to fix it. It need to be undone. I take the death spell back. Hopes and fears. Separation reverse. I, I just said it. They really hope that they can end the separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure about the future. They don't want. I don't want to be away from you. I'm tired of doing all this fighting and carrying on. They don't want to be away from you. I don't want to be. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing the Devon song. And when we were together, we never turned our backs on each other. But now that we're separated, we can't stand one another. Tell me what. <laughs> uh, separation reverse. Yeah, somebody don't want to be away from me, baby. All love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Like I said, they don't want to be away from you, baby. I love you. I know I did all that bibbity bop on you and I had them babies on you. And, but I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Final outcome. Oh, but... Period, poo, period, poo. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Look at this girl just jumping for joy. Like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Abundance, baby. Find an outcome. We'll take it. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Hesitation. Baby, this is your final outcome. What about it? What's good? Miley, what's good? Uh. Cupid's arrow and abundance. Both in the upright. It's love and money. Love and money, baby. That's good. That's a good final. That's falling right on top of you. Innocent. Because you were the innocent. Uh, this next pass, I'm going to go with the uh, Kipper-ish. You about to meet somebody new. Did you meet somebody new? You going on a date. Uh, uh, present moment. Divination. You a reader? Are you a reader, beloved? <laughs> emotional pain reverse. Are you a reader that's not hurt? If you healed from some emotional pain, that some slippery joker calls you. Divination upright, uh, emotional pain reverse, present moment. Somebody is a reader and they're not hurt. <laughs> this is resonating. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what's going? What's going on here? Uh, media challenge. The media challenge is that uh, you are in a new beginning, a new cycle, a new phase. You got a child. You just have a baby. You feel like a child. <laughs> Have you found the fountain of youth? Opposition reverse. Yeah. Uh, how is that a challenge? Somebody can't oppose you. That's what it is. So you could be a reader. You could do some form of divination. I don't care if you only read for yourself and you do it once a week. I don't care. You don't have to be on YouTube. You don't have to be on Patreon to be a reader. If you read these cards, guess what, beloved? You're a reader. Um, opposition reverse. Somebody can't oppose you because you're already in your new cycle. What they thought they were. What they thought. Like I say, uh, collective, a lot of y'all are twice, three times removed from this bullshit. They're not stopping shit for you. They were in the illusion that they could. 
what God has for you. Uh, no critter, creepy crawler, crips keeper. What's gonna be able to take? <laughs> what the fuck? These people crazy. Cool, cool. Um, distant pass. Yeah, they can't. Somebody can't oppose you because you move the fuck on. Like, what the fuck? I ain't seen none of you creatures in two, three years. I'm still a topic. Like, what? Uh, distant pass. Death magic reverse. <laughs> oh shit. Flying monkey, get your flying monkey. So in the distant past you had a somebody that was helping the ops. Probably your probably your twin flame, beloved. This person was helping the ops. They were a flying monkey, right? Helping somebody send or project death magic. They wanted to end something. Your love life, your finances, your happiness. They wanted to extinguish your light. You know, uh, it went back. Blocked, returned. Somebody wanted to help the ops and now they are an op. Yeah, so. Flying monkey, death magic reverse. They sent some type of shit. Something to end, some, some energy of ending something for you. And it was rejected. That was that's on top of stabbed in the back, yeah. Want to stab you in the back and end up stabbing themselves, dumb dumb. Recent past, rising star, yeah. You phoenix, what's up? What? What's up, Paul? What's up, baby? The phoenix, rising star, yeah. Rising from them ashes. Thought they had you down. Thought they had you down for the count. They were celebrating. Rising star, what's up? Yeah, you. You're the rising star that rejected somebody. You rejected they cup because you don't like this person. You don't want to date this person. Priestess and Priestess Reverse and Karmic Femme Reverse came out. There's a Karmic Femme in the mix. This is a dark witch. A dark practitioner. What's up? I gotta keep pulling. Y'all know I got to keep pulling now. Who is this? Who is this? And what? This is the the flying monkey was helping this monkey or whoever this karmic film. Yeah, who did the? And then on top of rising star, what we got for you, pull? Where did where, where was they shooting that low vibrational shit? Like I said, a lot of y'all are already divine. You're divine, beloved. You have already ascended. You have already passed your test. You are in a new cycle. You are on level five, level six, level seven. They still at level one shooting that low vibrational shit all the way up there towards you. Of course it was rejected. Of course it went back. What it was. You wasn't surprised. You knew. <laughs> you got faith, baby. You wasn't surprised. I bet you this person was though. Hello, uh, reverse somebody you don't talk to. Something there was somebody wasn't surprised that something wasn't communicated, or there's a karmic film reverse that somebody is not communicating with. What is this? I want to keep pulling. We go, yeah. Uh, best outcome possible outcome. Unexpected money reverse. This distant future reverse this is current energy current energy somebody is not receiving something that they thought that they were going to receive some type of money is not coming in what is that unexpected money yeah because they didn't get the commitment this this karmic film more than likely unexpected money reverse and commitment reverse they didn't get the commitment so they don't get whatever fame and fortune they thought that they was going to get by racking up all this bad karma Stupid. What the hell wrong with these people? This is current energy. Distant future. Reverse. Yeah, but somebody project mad as fuck. <laughs> mad as fuck. They stay mad, don't they? Mad. Projecting evil eye towards you. Why? Why are they projecting evil eye towards you, Collector? High honor. <laughs> what they mad for? Seriously? You, you mad at people for being righteous now? For doing the right thing? Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, immediate future. They are so ass backwards. Like, get your shit together. Uh, karma upright. Immediate future. Good karma. Thoughts. So, oh God. 
Let me put a couple more. Mature woman. Family reverse. So in the immediate future, you know, we got Empress Energy receiving good karma. I did see that reverse. The mature woman was reversed. I almost feel like it's karma for like removing yourself from a situation. And I'm hearing that one song again. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You gotta know when to run, baby. And this is somebody who knew when to run. Like, oh, okay, yeah. Let me get my little bag. Get up out of here. Uh, this could be a karmic family situation. They have loving thoughts towards you. These people are thinking about you, baby. If you have moved away from karmic family, they thinking about you, love. They sure miss you. Uh, I feel like you're receiving good karma for moving away from a karmic family situation. Maybe a family you had, maybe, you know, your relatives, you know, your karmic ass family. Them hooligans that tried to, you know, trick, get you caught up in a trick bag, steal your inheritance, or a property that was left to you, whatever the fuck these fucking weirdos like to do. Um, factors affecting the situation. Healer. You could be a healer. Shaman. Reiki. Maybe you just have healing voice, healing energy. You know, maybe you have healing, uh, what they call it, the Yoni. Is it the Yoni? They call it Yoni. It's a healing energy. Uh, confusion, illusion. Maybe people see that. Yeah, because you don't rose from the motherfucking ashes. They thought they was doing something. Yeah, people, the, there's, the confusion has been cleared. No matter what was being said about you, I think people see the real now. You are the phoenix that has risen from the ashes. People see clearly. They ain't confused no more. Like, oh, collective the healer. Oh, Lord, the child anointed. Like, uh, yeah, to preach, to teach, to heal. The fuck? Uh, that's what I feel like. Somebody know that, yeah, somebody, there could be a lot of people that really feel, they know that they, like, misjudged you. They had the wrong impression. They ain't shit. And uh, they just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to, you know, face that fact, you know, just yet. Uh, outside influences. Self-love reverse. But they want to love you. You don't trust this person. Trust the reverse. Yeah, this person needs to do their fucking hit. Would you? Sir. Ma'am. Critter. Do your per. Do they need to do their healing. Do your healing. This person don't love themselves. And I, I could understand, you know, doing all of this fucked up shit to, you know, a beautiful soul. Like, yeah, I wouldn't feel too hot about myself either. But they need to do their healing. This person's in low energy. They want to love you. They want unconditional love. They want self-love. They want passion. But this person knows that you don't trust them. Like, I don't trust you, Joker. You sold me up the river. You threw me up under that Greyhound bus. Uh, hopes and fears. <laughs> Single, sexy, and successful. Baby. I don't know if this is a hope or a fear. Because a lot of y'all are, you're this. All that in the bag of chips, baby. It's you. Um, somebody fearful of your independence. Fearful of your success. Well, you're getting too fine. And you're making too much money. I don't feel like a man. You're emasculating me. Stop wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah, somebody triggered by this shit too. Unbuy the reverse. Ugh. Ugh. Ain't nothing worse than an old hating ass. Like, this supposed to be your soulmate and they just a hater. Oh, sour lemon screw face ass. Get your weird. It's disgusting. Somebody could be really triggered by the fact that, like, you're successful or you're attaining success. You're making money. You looking good while you do it. Grown ass man hating on a woman. I 
I mean, this could be a same sex situation too. I, I literally just got dead. Butch Queen. Oh, uh, final, final outcome. Oh, uh, you got Divine Feminine Reverse. And destruction upright. Like I said, I said it somewhere over here. Yeah, you getting good karma. You're getting good karma. You mature woman, because that came out reverse too originally. You uh mature woman, you're getting good karma. Good luck, good fortune, because you got the hell away from a karmic family situation. Final outcome, divine feminine reverse, meaning like you were in a situation, you got up out of there. What did you get up out of, collector? What you get up out of? A big ass tower that was coming, some destructive energy that you saw. And yeah, you got it. What you stepping into? Abundance, love, money, all of the above. I feel like you're really out of, you're like you out of something. Like you know, they still talking about you. Like you still a topic, but you are like completely up out of something. They gonna talk about you forever, baby. Just uh, own it, accept it. You know, you were the highlight of someone's life. Okay, it's okay, you know. Uh, divine masculine. Joker done lost you. They done lost you. Yeah, because they're not on their pathway. Joker, what the hell? Is you going the wrong way. <laughs> this person probably had spirit guys screaming at them. You're going the wrong way, son. Turn your dumb ass around. <laughs> this ritual this is somebody that I don't know were they happy to go on the wrong path yeah you moving the hell on this is you moving the hell on happy happily moving the fuck on like okay you know what this didn't work out but I know God got something better for me so I'm gonna trust in him thank you God praise the Lord the fuck on like yeah I, you know i'll choose happiness today could have chose violence but i'm gonna choose happiness getting the fuck on up out of here baby bottom of the deck we have priest upright somebody in the north node or is that reverse Ooh. Damn. So there could be like somebody in your energy. Take what resonates, leave what does not. You know, this could be a spiritual person, a masculine energy. This could go either way. I, I almost said, I mean, it makes sense this way. Like, more so than another way, honestly. Priest reverse. This could be a spiritual person, spiritual minded person. It's a masculine energy. Could be your, part, your person, like, you know, that you were supposed to be with. This person been in a south node, just down there kicking it. This person taking a financial loss should be your counterpart you know rich guy in the upright because we had king of pentacles queen of pentacles did we not uh but this person's reverse distorted you still in the upright queen of pentacles pool we had you you know uh this might have been your person your soulmate your twin flame perhaps somebody could be sick somebody's like in bad health or this is in reference to you. You're not in bad health. Awaken in reverse love offer. Somebody wants to make a love offer, but they released their twin flame. Or they made a love offer to a false flame. This person made a love offer. They were unawakened. They made a love offer to a false flame. And they really torn up about this shit. Mental and uh, emotional instability. I can't believe. Yeah, but this person, like, they could have essentially made a love offer to a false flame. They're really torn up about this because the veil, the veil reversed. They see clearly. They realize. They see that creature without the mask on, and they see you in your true essence, your true energy. You know, and it's like, oh, my goodness. They could be married. They could be in a union with somebody, and they're currently in a legal situation with a hater, somebody that don't like you. they mad because you're protected. A Jezebel, yep. Can't make it up. Jezebel, third party. 
It's Jezebel that your twin flame or your soulmate probably made the love offer to. Third party. Like they wasn't even supposed to be in the picture. They old sour mouth asses was in the back somewhere. You know, wasn't even supposed to be in the picture. Like move, move. Show us out the way. Your balance, somebody's trying to get balance, but they're in a lustful energy. They could have a lot of passion for you. Oh, this is something they projected towards you. They did some type of voodoo, some type of hoodoo, some, 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 some type of energy manipulation to have you in lustful energy. You're too balanced for this shit. So what happened? It went back. Voodoo reversed. <laughs> it went back. You're too balanced for this shit. Now somebody's getting the message. They are receiving the message that they cannot manipulate you. Cut the bullshit. Can't manipulate collector. Cut it on out. You're dealing with a star seed. Cut it on out. This is somebody whose ancestors or guides have walked away from them because they refused to stop something. Endings reversed. They did not want to quit. Intuition blocked. Intuitive care reversed. Real love reversed. They were in a loveless situation. All for money. Now they've lost a the title, lost a position. Five, or poverty reverse. Well, outside in the cold, outside out in the cold from you. Obsessive, mad because they're in a legal situation. Judgment has been ruled in your favor, so somebody's mad. They mad. Let them let the asses be mad. Stay mad. Shit. Somebody's mad because judgment is in your favor, sweetheart. Queen of Cups. What's up, boo? I love judgment in your favor. This person acts, they carry themselves like, you know, King of Swords upright, truthful, honest, this, that, and the third. They are not. This is the King of Cups reverse. Somebody emotionally manipulative, emotionally unstable, maybe emotionally unavailable, and they want to be with you. Like, uh, no thanks. Creature. This person might have an entity attachment, and they don't want a permanent ending. Get your car. If you don't get your karmic ass, hmm. Karmic masculine. Like, beat it, narc. Beat it. This person is praying. Are they praying to God? They could be praying now to get some type of achievement. There's a Queen of Swords reverse energy. This person wants to travel to abuse some. <laughs> they want to hurt this masculine. <laughs> this There's a Queen of Swords reverse energy. This person, they want to hurt this masculine. Especially if this person's waking up, they smell in the coffee. And they want to get the hell away from that, that, that creature, the Crips Keeper they committed to. Yeah, they want to hurt this. Queen of Swords reverse, Ice Queen reverse. They want to travel to hurt this person. They could be at a distance right now. Man. Yeah, man. They're mad because this person is changing. They're choosing to ascend. And it's, yeah, they got them nervous. Like, what? That joker, I put a good root on that joker. Not, I put a real good root on that joker. Now that joker want to walk away from me. Like, uh, yeah, creature, scurry along. This could be a group of some sort. Would they have a group association? Little cult, little coven. Little cult, little coven. They all going to jail. Are they all trapped in some shit? That they can't get out of losing money. It was all good just a week ago. Whole click was eating good. <laughs> Whole click was eating good just a week ago. What happened? Yeah, some lies have been exposed. A false narrative around you and maybe what you do for work, how you make money has been exposed. It's and their punk ad, the punk ass love spills that they keep trying to do are rejected. Y'all not doing that bull? They not pulling that bullshit over? Come on now. Collective, yeah, they're not pulling that bullshit. They're not pulling the wool over your eyes. Been there, done that. Got the T-shirt. Y'all woke as fuck, and these people trying to lull y'all back to sleep. It's not happening. Somebody could have tried to steal something from you. They've been exposed, and that ass is trapped. They caught. Like it's a wrap. Y'all want some of the mess deck? Give you a little sliver. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening. Whatever it is for you. This is a ham. It's a ham. Hot ass mess. BB. Uh, we're going to see what messages come out for the collective. The messages for the collective spirit. I 
That's too many. It's too many. Well, yeah, gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Gold digger, somebody only out for money. The gossip and slander was meant to isolate you and crush your confidence. Like I say, they say isolation. I call it more or less like solitude. I don't have y'all karmic asses, you know, just all up in my energy, distorting me. Yeah, I'll take it for 500, Alex. The gossip and slander was meant to isolate and crush you. Isolate. And I don't know about y'all. A lot of this shit was uh, energetic. I had, I told you guys, at the beginning of my journey, I had dumb ass, they were paying for this shit. People were doing chaos magic and isolation spells on me at the same time. You stupid motherfuckers. You got me by myself, so who the fuck was I going to argue with? Just dumb. It's just stupid. It just don't make a lot of sense. Practitioner was probably just taking the money from you. Like, yeah, give me the money, dumb ass. Stupid. Uh, Soul Tribe Vibes. Baby, other people like you, psychic abilities and things. Everybody knew about it except for you. It's a damn shame. Poverty, illness, imprisonment, death. They've manifested this for themselves. Do not interfere. And I feel, I feel, I just got goosebumps. Do not interfere. What they say on uh, American Horse or the Coven? Your fate is sealed. <laughs> yeah, uh, do not interfere. They have sealed their fate. They've sealed their fate. Don't interfere. Don't get in the way, baby. That's what they want you to do. Please, uh, share. You know, take some of this karma for me. You being a, a rut whip right along with me. Please take some of these wands off of my back. Cilantro. Cilantro is a very powerful herb. I mean, this is a very tasty herb as well. Uh, but uh, it's great for attunement. It improves insight and self-understanding uh, and magic. This is really great for love spells or increasing the potency of a particular spell. It's good stuff. Good stuff, pool. For the, you know, those of you, my, uh, my witchy brothers and sisters of the light. You grazing, you whites. Very soon, something very soon. <laughs> Baby, this is resonating. Uh, very soon, you having a oh, very soon date night. Have a good time. Stones and crystals could be significant. Do you like rocks and stuff? Stones and crystals could be significant. Baby, I'll say, you know, for those of you who are not into stones, the very first one I bought, and it was because I kept seeing or hearing about this stone, and I did some research, and at the time, it was what I desperately needed. Uh, this right here. Black tourmaline. Very protective. Very good at absorbing negative energies, dispelling negative energies. Several of my bracelets have black tourmaline because it is a very effective stone, if you ask me. Two years ago, I wasn't into none of this stuff. I didn't even believe in God. Um, so, I mean, I'm just saying, if it's something, I'm, it's effective, very beneficial. Uh, black tourmaline, if you're not into stones and crystals, I would say this is at least one to have. Uh, good stuff. Amethyst, y'all, of course, everybody knows about amethyst. This is good for like psychic protection, intuition, insight, stuff like that. Uh, that's typically the first one everybody get. Mine's was black tourmaline, though. I was more worried about protection, baby. So, what you got over there? I can't see over there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. Jealousy and envy. What's new? They still hating. They still hating, y'all. Divorce. Somebody's mad because uh, they're getting a divorce. Karmics on the outside look Karmics on the outside looking in. Peeping time. Sometimes I be forgetting that I'm a reader. I be trying to keep my calm. I be trying to keep my cool, go dumb, like I fell asleep in school. Uh it's a Mona Leo lyric. She's a Houston rapper. I like Houston rap. Karma, period, and upright. Watching you uh get all the blessings that were uh d destined for you. On the outside looking in. Get out of my window. Knock on the door, weirdo. Attempted to sacrifice you for a level up. <laughs> You're still a twin flame. I saw a reverse. Not this motherfucker tried to sacrifice you for a level up. You know you sacrificing yourself too, right? Dumbass. Did you know that? Soulmate. 
kind of soulmate is this? Mm-mm. Like, Lord, please give me a new one, Lord, please. Actor or actress? Yeah, this person. Mm -hmm. You know this. You know that motherfucker deserves an Oscar for the performances they put on. Actor or actress, emotional manipulation. Yeah, get your. We had to come out. They know that's why they're not taking action because they know that you know, beloved. I ain't gonna take action because I know that you know that uh, I'm fake as fuck. False person. It's a weird ass song. Get away from my collective. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna call it. Goodness, my AC is on Arctic. It's got to be about 50 degrees in here. I'm cold. Candle magic. I would do anything to get things back to the way they used to be. Can you go back in time? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You don't need outside validation. You love yourself and you're not easily manipulated. They envy and fear this about you. I mean, to each his own. Like, you know, the people be mad at you for being you because they don't want to be them. Like, what the fuck? They don't have nothing to do with me, creature. It's your weird ass song. Don't have nothing to do with the collective. Yeah, man, they are cursed. The narcissist is a curse. Still doing death or illness spells that will backfire when they've already been caught. Okay, so you're doing death and illness spells on the chosen one, on somebody in the light, potentially on somebody in their purpose. You know the shit's going to backfire, right? They don't care. That's... Ugh. That's somebody to feel like they don't have nothing to live for anyway. They hate that they can't manipulate you. They feel powerless without manipulation. They feel powerless without manipulation. Requested continuances in court while waiting for you to lose your mind, lose your home, or lose your life. I ain't even, you know, I, you know I ain't got nothing nice to say, so I'm not going to. Be mindful when considering allowing past energies to return. I would say don't. Don't. Don't even consider it. Don't. Allow, yeah. They're in the past for a reason. Stabs you in the back. You managed to get all ten of those knives out of your back. Don't let these motherfuckers back around you. Let them watch. Let them do what their weird asses do best. Watch. Response over reaction. Respond. Don't react. I won't even respond. They can kiss my ass. How's that for a response? Karmic mother or father has had to hide their disdain for you because others see you for who you are. You got a mama or daddy that don't like you, but they can't say shit because it's weird as fuck. Why don't <laughs> they're weird as fuck? <laughs> could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. <laughs> Somebody dealing with a Pisces. Pisces, move in silence, baby. Period. What well, making say? I don't announce my moves. I like to keep shit silent. Uh, I forget. Yeah, period. Don't move in silence. If they don't know what you build, then how they go fuck it up, beloved? They just bibbity bobbity boo, projecting all of this bullshit that's bouncing off of you, bouncing off of something, and dinking their ass in the head. Now they walking around looking crazy, stupid, crying, mad, in prison, cause they dumb. <laughs> oh, I want to give a special thanks, uh, Dorothy. Dorothy, girl, I love you so much. Thank you so much, beloved. Uh, Dorothy sent me a box, like a little gift box uh, with a bunch of different card decks and some incense and some stuff. And Dorothy, uh, I got that a few weeks ago, but I haven't been. I've been got it not to. You know how I normally get stuff and I'm like, oh, well, here it is. And thank you so much. I've been got it not to do that. So I haven't. I've received things from you guys and I haven't, you know, done that because I've been got it not to. Uh, I'm in quite possibly for my safety and yours um but i do want to give you guys you know uh some credit i'm gonna shout you out dorothy thank you so much you've been supporting me on the etsy shop you sent me this wonderful box of gifts and i love it i love you thank you so much uh elizabeth elizabeth you sent me a book 
and you you sent me a note you said you got the book for yourself as well i'm about to start reading it but thank you so much because the book that you sent is actually like it's like the good stuff this is stuff that like you know i'm into i want to know you know shit that you don't find everywhere you know uh it's a beautiful book it was a beautiful gesture i absolutely love it thank you so much thank you so much uh vanessa you sent me something as well vanessa you sent me a box of flowers and herbs and i'm i don't know if you grow these yourself maybe you do you sent me a huge box of like different herbs some of them i have to do research on because i'm not too familiar with them but uh thank you so much vanessa i love y'all i love y'all everybody here watching listening to my voice right now i love you uh but i just want to send a special thanks to vanessa dorothy and elizabeth thank you so much thank you um let's get some oracle let's get into some oracle i'm gonna pull one from the energy oracle Hopefully you guys are doing well, enjoying your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, whatever it is for you. There's another one too. One of you sent me a card. One of you is, are uh, you're in New York. You sent me a card. Um, and I have a name in my head, but I don't want to say it and be wrong. So, but thank you so much because you had some beautiful, kind words that you said in this card. You you live in New York. You sent me a card. Thank you so much. Thank you. All tied up. Reverse. 23 could be significant. All tied up. Reverse. Let's do it. I'm saying the, the map is staring at me. So we go do one of them too. Listening. 53 could be significant. 23, 53. Listening. Are you listening? All right. I'm going to give you one more. Let's do the Citadel. the musician reverse inspiration gratitude all right i'm gonna start with that one the musician reverse All right, the musician, uh, inspiration, gratitude. It came out reverse. Reverse, the musician indicates a difficulty finding the positive side of a situation. Setbacks may have chipped away at your optimism, or perhaps you have been too idealistic about something, and the reality of the situation has left you feeling listless and despondent. Take this into account when getting back on track. The musician, reverse. Maybe uh, inspiration, gratitude. Maybe something didn't go your way. Maybe you didn't receive a particular outcome that you were hoping for, that you were expecting. Um, you know, disappointment is natural. But don't stay in that energy too long. Yeah, that didn't work out. That didn't go in your favor. That didn't end the way that you wanted it to end. What now? And not to be insensitive, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you like somebody I care about. You know, what now? Friend, family, what now? What are we going to do? Some things don't go your way. You know, collective, we are all too familiar with shit not going our way, are we not? I mean, <laughs> just got to keep it moving, keep it pushing. What now? What, what, what can I do now? Uh, from the map, we have listening. 53. An open heart will hear the message. When this card appears, you're being reminded that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment. For the deeper message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your ears, and you'll find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. Listening, an open heart will hear the message. Uh, all tied up 
all tied up. They got this girl wrapped and bound in the woods, girl. Uh, uh. She looks nice, though. A lack of motion or a sense of personal freedom. We had all tied up. Came out reverse. Mm. Yeah. This card reverse is telling you that the ties that bind are about to break loose. A, pr a previously stuck situation is opening up and the restrictions are clearing out. This card reverse also indicates that you are ready to break free from the habits and patterns that have kept you tied up for so long. Get ready to free yourself. You have all the power and clarity at this point. So untie the binds of the patterns that have stopped you from being authentic and empowered. Now is the time to liberate yourself. Period. You are free. Oh, there's an affirmation here. I release stuck energy, old habits, and restrictions. My life is opening up. I am free to choose my reality. I'm going to say that again. I release stuck energy, old habits, and restrictions. My life is opening up. I am free to choose my reality. Um, all tied up. Period. In reverse. You are not all tied up. You're free. Free to go. Uh, I did not pick a prayer. But you know, I'll find one real swift, beloved. Let's do uh, one of the prayers of divine protection. Uh, this is a book I found on Amazon. Uh, it's by Kind and Bridges. He's a pastor. Uh, let's just open up. Find one. Okay, I opened on page 54. Prayer of the of Divine Protection. I'm praying for everybody watching. All of you beautiful souls. The collective, you chosen ones, star seeds. What's up, fam? Uh, and myself. Heavenly Father, I thank you for breaking the power of the spirit of Python over my life and the lives of those I love. Your word declares you give, you have given me authority over all the power of the enemy and that nothing shall by any means hurt me. Right now, in Jesus' name, I declare that I am completely free from any and all addictions, perversions, compulsions, oppressions, fears, and life-controlling issues. I loose myself and those I love from the demonic stronghold of the spirit of Python and command all depression, anxiety, fear, and chronic sickness to leave my spirit, my soul, my body right now in Jesus' name. Devil, I loose myself from you and I command you to leave me now. He whom the Son shall make free is free indeed. Therefore, I declare my complete, uh, complete and total freedom from this day forward. In Jesus name, I no longer have to live under the grief and distress of a spirit of oppression. I declare that all my loved ones, my friends and co-workers are also delivered from the demonic influence of this evil spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare the spirit of Python is broken off of my life once and for all. Amen. 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 <laughs> That was a good one. It's my first time reading them. Baby, 30, uh, 30 prayers of divine protection for those of you wondering. This is a good one. It's a goodie. Uh, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some clarity. Some uh, confirmation. Oh, goodness. Okay. I hope there was some clarity, some confirmation. Some uh, Maybe you could put two and two together. If nothing else, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Collective energy is the best. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, to anybody who's donated to, to the channel, thank you. It's a really big help and I love you. Uh, to anybody who would like to donate to the channel, the links will be in the description box of this video. As well as the links to Mystic Sense. I am a partner with them. Uh, they are a company that provides a lot of really talented psychic mediums other readers um i've used the service it's legit uh my link for that you get a discounted rate that's below as well um also my link to the etsy shop i'm stocked up like on everything bracelets there's about six different bracelets available uh the bye bye bad vibe is available you guys have been ordering for those of you unaware i have a energy cleansing salt bath uh very powerful i mean i concocted this myself I do say a, sp a special prayer over the salt, but this is uh, Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, juniper, mugwort, angelica root, and bay leaf, which if you know about herbs, 
these are some you know some banishing cleansing protective herbs uh the stuff is I'm, I'm i'm not just hyping it because i make it but i mean i use it and you come out of this bath light as a feather definitely energy cleansing if you do it the way i tell you to do it uh or do it the way you want to beloved you know but uh that's available uh months ago you guys asked what i was doing what i was using and i just decided to jar it up i mixed it in like a five pound or five gallon bucket for myself and i was just like well why don't i just jar it up and make it available um but yeah i do that about once a week sometimes more depending um but yeah that's available thank you to everybody who's supporting the Etsy shop uh both of these are available my balance bracelet which is labradorite map jasper and silver hematite as well as mystic this is merlinite black onyx and black tiger's eye very protective very magical you know merlinite is the uh, magician or the sorcerer stone very magical stone uh, but those are available as well as like a lot of others. I also have stones to do uh, intuitive protection. That might be out of stock, but I'm going to get that restocked too. I have everything for it. That's the, that's my take on the uh, triple protection bracelet. I made it with uh, pyrite, black tourmaline, and galaxy tiger's eye. Very protective. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys who are supporting. Um, any of you who give me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes, thank you so much, fam. It's a really big help, and I love you. I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, healing vibes, peace, protection, prosperity, success, faith, gratitude, everything great. You're so worthy. You're so deserving. As always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for the collective. I will catch you guys on the next one.